Hi guys, my name is Amanda Cottrell. I am a Green Status Elite presenter with Unique and the owner of Ambitious Row. I wanted to pop on and share with you guys what a day in the life looks like for me. Um, and I figured what better way than to do it, showing you a full face makeup tutorial. So if you're new here and you've never heard of Unique, Unique is a naturally based skincare and cosmetics company that was founded by Christian CEOs for the sole purpose to help end childhood sexual abuse. They later came up with a product line to help raise more funds for that cause. 10% of every purchase goes directly to those nonprofits. One is called the Unique Foundation, which is for survivors of childhood sexual abuse. And the other is called Defend Innocence, which is for parents and caregivers to know the signs to help protect our youth. Unique is also never tested on animals. We do have vegan and gluten-free options. Everything comes with a 14-day love it guarantee. So you can shop with the comfort of knowing that customer service will take care of you if you do not love, love, love your product. We also follow European guidelines, which means we ban almost 1,400 chemicals from our products compared to the United States, which bans roughly around 11. You are getting high quality products, but not just skincare and cosmetics anymore. We are now launching into the wellness market. In just a few short weeks, we are dropping a never before seen formula, liquid, premium, type one, marine based collagen. I am so excited. We are taking beauty from the inside out. So before I dive into a day in the life, let me fill you in on a little bit about myself because as soon as you get to know me, you'll realize that I am an open book. I know my story can help someone out there. I am 32 years old. I am from South Jersey. And for the last two thirds of my life, I've been a perfectly imperfect Christian. I became a mother at a very young age. I got pregnant my senior year of high school with a guy that wanted nothing to do with me. A short time later, I married my first husband who legally adopted my daughter, and we then had two more daughters. Later in life, we got divorced, and I became a single mom with three children and no college education. Waitressing full-time, I knew I needed something else, and that's when I launched my business. I was at rock bottom. My boyfriend was struggling with recovery, and I was starting over once again. Fast forward, I got remarried. Chris and I have been together for over four years now. We've known each other since the seventh grade, which is a fun fact. We seriously are best friends. Not only does he crack me up and love me well and love my three daughters, but he also is my biggest fan with my business. You will see him from time to time pop on either in a live video or making a post, doing a shout out for me or being goofy. <laughs> in 2020, after we got married, we found out we were pregnant. A couple months later, we went in for an anatomy scan at 21 weeks just to find that there was no heartbeat. I then, for the first time, had experienced miscarriage. We gave birth to our stillborn son and cremated him. He's at home with us and his name is Judah. Last year in 2021, we got pregnant again, so scared with our rainbow baby who made it full term. We delivered him in October and his name is Jet. And he is now three months old. We now tell everyone that we have five children because we do even though Judah's not here with us. You'll see me reference him a lot. All that to say, I'm sure we share something in our story. As you see, I've been through a lot in different areas over the last 32 years. Now let's dive into a day in the life. My typical day is slow starting. 
I am not the morning person that just rises and brews coffee. I usually lie in bed for quite some time, like most of us, and scroll my phone. This is why this business works perfectly for me, because while I'm laying in bed scrolling, I can be working at the same time. So I'm usually popping things into my stories, scheduling some posts in my VIP page, and checking in with my team. Since my girls are here typically three to four days a week, my husband and I usually rotate off the mornings. He's an early bird and I, again, am not. So he'll help me in the mornings get the big girls to school since, for the most part, I've been up nursing the baby throughout the night. If it was a good night with the baby, I will get up and see the girls off. After that, I brew my coffee and get my morning started, spend some time with my husband, and try to do a little bit of cleaning. Later in the afternoon, I am just then getting in the shower, typically around one o'clock. I get out of the shower, I usually pop on and try to do a makeup tutorial for you guys, or I start creating content like I'm doing right now. Pre-recorded videos, putting makeup on, taking pictures, and walking you step-by-step -step through something. Later into the afternoon, I usually am scrolling Facebook and end up watching one of my Uplines lives to do some personal development. Whether it's learning about a brand new product, learning more about a product we have, or watching someone do makeup so I can better my skills. Later into the evening, after the girls come home, I try to do a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with each of them, um, even if it's just 30 minutes of my attention to each girl. I then am getting dinner going. Usually we're bouncing around from sports, whether it's wrestling, swimming, jiu-jitsu, or soccer. At the end of the night, my husband and I love to just sit on the couch and binge watch one of our favorite series or just go to bed early. So that about sums it up. Uh, when I first started this business, I was working it part-time. Um, I did have a full-time position at the restaurant and I knew nothing about makeup or direct sales. So I maybe dedicated about 30 minutes to an hour a day um, learning and launching my business to where now three years in, almost three years in, um, I now do this more full-time. I'm a couple days at the restaurant just to get out of the house and to honestly network with more people in person. Um, I work about five to six hours from my phone every day, obviously not in one block, but I do spread it out um, in the morning, creating content in the afternoon, going live, doing some personal development, coaching my team, and before bed, checking my messages and notifications and getting back to everyone. So yeah, that's it. I've definitely learned that through the years, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. And I've gotten so much out of this business.